setting up an Express.js application with the npx express generator command. The goal of this is to create a blank application to instrument with OpenTelemetry auto instrumentation of JavaScript and uh, tracing. Let's get started. In, on my command line, I already have npm installed. If I didn't need, I already have that installed. I need to go install that before I could generate the application with npx. So I'm going to use npx express generator. Oh, I'm to tap it correctly. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. That's going to create us a new uh, <clears throat> application. It named it after the folder I'm in, which is called my awesome JS app. Probably should come up with a better, more descriptive name of my application, but that's all I really need right now. And now we're going to install the application by running npm install. It's going to download and install any dependencies. And looks like we have a few things we might want to check and update our uh, packages installation but for now let's go ahead and check that out by running the npm audit command okay and we're going to go ahead and fix the problems we found in our audit because we don't want to leave any security problems okay now we have zero vulnerabilities and now we ha also have a base application we can instrument Jumping over to our IDE, in this case Visual Studio's code, we can see the application we just generated. But I want to go ahead and touch the, the files we're going to be modifying. We're going to be modifying package.json start script, include an auto instrumentation package before the call to start the application, which is bin dub 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 in our case. It could be app.js if you were just executing the application from the command line. And then as we go through and add more things, we'll be uh, touching uh, the JavaScript folder um, and a few of the views, but we'll save that for when we're instrumenting real user monitoring. Instrument our tracing, we're going to be using the OpenTelemetry library, OpenTelemetry.js, We'll install it using the node package manager. And then to instantiate tracing, we'll create a, or a, a basic tracing.js file using what's in the readme here. And then instrument our application, modifying the package.json to run the tracing.js before our application file. So to do that, we'll start here. Go ahead and copy our install dependencies out. Metri.js. We're going to install those applications and save them. So you can see our package.json gets appended as those install. Okay. Now that we've added these dependencies, we'll need to uh, modify our package.json right here to include tracing.js after we create that. Now that we've installed the dependencies on the application and those have been added to our package.json, we're going to create the file tracing.js in the generated application need to create a new file and title it tracing.js and in that file I'm pasting from the readme of OpenTelemetry.js the contents and what this is going to do is bring in our auto instrumentation libraries and its trace exporter is rather than an open telemetry, the open telemetry collector is going to a console span exporter. This means we can see what's going on on the console, 
without having to bring up any observability software yet. Tracing JS file from the OpenTelemetry JS README, we can add a reference to it in our startup script in our package.json. Go ahead and start our application. And our application's running. Oh, tracing's initialized, so we know that we've gotten to this point in our file. And so we can probably fire some calls at it. In this window, I'm going to use curl to send a request to our web application. You can see that it returns back an HTML page. Let's fire a couple requests over there. And let's see what happened on our console. Oh, hey, what's all this? Let me scroll up the, to the beginning. So we can see our N NPM run start, my awesome JS apps running. And it started with our tracing JS application running. And then our bin dub dub dub, which starts our JS app. We can see we called git. And then we can see some tracing information. We can see this trace ID has shown up. So let's go ahead and get it to highlight. And then flows through the code. We can see where we're going. URL encoder and parser, cookie parser, all the way through. And this is all going for all, all the three requests we made. It's going to be all the same, similar resources. So that's auto instrumented here. And now the next step we can do is send this information rather than the console to a uh, open telemetry collector. And that can be a locally run open telemetry, <laughs> open telemetry collector or an externally hosted open telemetry open telemetry collector such as Splunk Observability Cloud. To show how the instrumentation doesn't work when it's not there, oh, back to the terminal please. On the shell I'm going to, I removed um, the minus r tracing from our uh, package.json. And I'm going to run npm run start and run a few calls with curl here on the other console. So if we should, I ran three. And we can see them here, actually four. One more than I thought I did. And so we don't see the tracing information here anymore. If we re-instrument it. Close the application, start it back up, and run. Oh, we can see tracing initialized, so we know we're running tracing now. I'm going to run one curl command this time. We can see, oh, there's our trace. And if we scroll back up to the beginning of time here, we can see our git request and our trace ID. I'll highlight that. And our parent ID. So these aren't in the exact order. So this is probably our parent because parent ID is undefined. And we can see our request handler. And then other spans throughout the calls history. It isn't as interesting on the console as it is in the visualization tool, but there's still a lot of in valuable information you can gather just by looking at a raw trace.